Charles Hermite was a French mathematician who did research on number theory, quadratic forms, invariant theory, orthogonal polynomials, elliptic functions, and algebra. Hermite polynomials, Hermite interpolation, Hermite normal form, Hermitian operators, and cubic Hermite splines are named in his honor. One of his students was Henry Poincaré. He was the first to prove that E, the base of natural logarithms, is a transcendental number. His methods were later used by Ferdinand von Lindemann to prove that pi is transcendental. In a letter to Thomas Johannes D. Eltjes in 1893, Hermite remarked, I turn with terror and horror from this lamentable scourge of continuous functions with no derivatives, life. Hermite was born in Dues, Moselle on 24 December 1822, with a deformity in his right foot which would affect his gait for the rest of his life. He was the sixth of seven children of Ferdinand Hermite, and his wife Madeleine Lallemand. His father worked in his mother's family drapery business, and also pursued a career as an artist. The drapery business relocated to Nancy in 1828 and so did the family. He studied at the Collège de Nancy and then, in Paris, at the Collège Henry IV and at the Lycée Louis Le Grand. Hermite wanted to study at the École Polytechnique and in 1841 he took a year preparing for the examinations and was tutored by Catalan. In 1842 his wish came true. However, after one year Hermite was refused the right to continue his studies because of his disability. He had to fight to regain his place which he won but with strict conditions imposed. Hermite found this unacceptable and decided to leave the École Polytechnique without graduating. As a boy he read some of the writings of Joseph Louis Lagrange on the solution of numerical equations, and of Carl Gauss on the theory of numbers. In 1842, his first original contribution to mathematics in which he gave a simple proof of the proposition of Niels Abel concerning the impossibility of obtaining an algebraic solution for the equation of the fifth degree, was published in the Nouvelles Annales de Mathématiques. A correspondence with Carl Jacobi, begun in 1843 and continued in 1844, led to the insertion, in the complete edition of Jacobi's works, of two articles by Hermite, one concerning the extension to abelian functions of one of the theorems of Abel on elliptic functions, and the other concerning the transformation of elliptic functions. After spending five years working privately towards his degree, in which he befriended eminent mathematicians Joseph Bertrand, Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi, and Joseph Leaville, he took and passed the examinations for the baccalaureate, which he was awarded in 1847. He married Joseph Bertrand's sister, Louise Bertrand, in 1848. In 1848, Hermite returned to the École Polytechnique as repetiteur and examiner third admission. In 1856 he contracted smallpox. Through the influence of Augustin, Louis Courchy and of a nun who nursed him, he resumed the practice of his Catholic faith. On 14 July of that year, he was elected to fill the vacancy created by the death of Jacques Binet in the Académie des Sciences. In 1869, he succeeded Jean-Marie de Mel as professor of mathematics both at the École Polytechnique, where he remained until 1876 and in the Faculty of Sciences of Paris, which was a post he occupied until his death. From 1862 to 1873 he was lecturer at the École Normale Supérieure. Upon his 70th birthday, on the occasion of his jubilee which was celebrated at the Sorbonne under the auspices of an international committee, he was promoted Grand Officer of the Legion d'Honneur. He died in Paris, 14 January 1901, aged 78. Contribution to Mathematics an inspiring teacher, Hermite strove to cultivate admiration for simple beauty and discourage rigorous minutiae. His correspondence with Thomas D. Eltjes testifies to the great aid he gave those entering scientific life. His published courses of lectures have exercised a wide influence. 
His important original contributions to pure mathematics, published in the leading mathematical journals of the world, dealt chiefly with abelian and elliptic functions and the theory of numbers. In 1858 he solved the equation of the fifth degree by elliptic functions, and in 1873 he proved e, the base of the natural system of logarithms, to be transcendental. This last was used by Ferdinand von Lindemann to prove in 1882 the same for pi. Publications The following is a list of his works. Sur Quelk's Applications des Functions Elliptics, Paris, 1855, Page Images from Cornell, Cause d'Analyse de l'École Polytechnique, Première Partie, Paris, Gauthier Villas, 1873, Cause Professeur à la Faculté des Sciences, edited by Andoya, 4th ed, Paris, 1891, Page Images from Cornell, Correspondence, edited by Baylord and Bourget, Paris, 1905, two vols, PDF copy from UMDL, Uvers de Charles Hermite, edited by Picard for the Academy of Sciences, four vols, Paris, Gauthier Villas, 1905, 1908, 1912 and 1917, PDF copy from UMDL, Uvers de Charles Hermite, reissued by Cambridge University Press, 2009, ISBN 9781-108-0032856, quotations. There exists, if I am not mistaken, an entire world which is the totality of mathematical truths, to which we have access only with our mind. Just as a world of physical reality exists, the one like the other independent of ourselves, both of divine creation. Charles Hermite, CIT, by Gaston Darbo, Elegies Académiques, Say Discourse, Hermann, Paris 1912, 142. I shall risk nothing on an attempt to prove the transcendence of Pi. If others undertake this enterprise, no one will be happier than I in their success. But believe me, it will not fail to cost them some effort. Charles Hermite, Letter to C.W. Borchardt, Men of Mathematics, E.T. Bell, New York, 1937, 464.